When I reviewed that KMR 400 coaxial cable from Amazon, one thing that really stood out to me were the connectors on there. They just felt really solid. So I did a little bit of digging. Turns out they're called clamp connectors and I found them on Amazon. So I went ahead and purchased a pair and I'm gonna show you how to install these guys this time on KMRD Radio Stuff. So here's what I got. We got two of the connectors that come with the heat shrink, a couple little spacer jobbies, and then the center pin. And inside these guys are some compression fittings. You've got a little washer type thing. You've got a little rubber gasket, another washer type thing. And then this actually slides underneath the braid. So when you screw this all together, you get this nice compression fitting that uh, hopes, helps uh, reduce moisture coming in from the uh, bottom of the cable, so that's nice. Now the first thing you wanna do before you strip this cable, you wanna take the very end of it, go ahead and put that on. You wanna take the larger of the two washers, note there's two washers, you wanna have the one with the bigger hole, the one that actually slides over the jacket of the coax, put that on. And you also wanna take this rubber gasket and put that on. Believe me now, you want these on before you strip this cable. The next part, we're only gonna strip off about a centimeter of this jacket. We don't need to strip off very much at all. So that's about right there. And I'm just gonna gently score the jacket here. And then with my knife, I'll go ahead and cut it from the score down to the end. And we can kind of just peel it off because we've scored it. We'll get a nice clean cut without uh, damaging any of that braid. Next, we're going to fan out our braid. Doesn't have to be pretty. You just want to pull it away from the uh, dielectric there. Then we're going to go ahead and take our little metal doodad, I'll call it, put that inside that washer and this is all gonna slide over the dielectric and it's gonna go underneath the braid. That's how this works. So there's no soldering of the braid, which is great. Make sure that's firmly seated. Then we can trim off any excess braid. Now I'm gonna take a razor blade and I'm just gonna cut down to the center conductor, being careful to not actually nick the center conductor. This should just pop off like such. And we only need about half a centimeter of that center conductor uh, showing. And I am a little long, so I'm just gonna snip off just a little bit of that. Then we take this little washer guy, little spacer, and we're gonna slide that over the center conductor. And then we can take, you'll notice there's a tiny little hole. That's where we're gonna put the solder. I'm gonna put that over the pin. And I like to use a vise to hold the cable in place while I solder because it's pretty pretty hard and stiff and with a nice clean hot iron tip we're going to apply heat right near the hole and feed oops, and feed our solder in and when it's hot enough it's basically just going to suck that solder right into the hole. You don't need much and you don't want to overheat it. And that's what you get. Then we need to let this cool. Now we can go ahead and slide the center conductor into the housing. And we're gonna bring up all of the guts, if you will. Go ahead and screw those in for a little bit. And we're going to need a 5 8 and an 11 16 inch wrench. 5 8 goes on the bottom, the other one goes on the top. And you're just going to wrench this together to get a nice compression fit. 
And that is a completed PL259 clamp connector. Final step, we take this heat shrink, go ahead and slide that on, and I'm gonna put it all the way up right to uh, where it turns there. Get our heat gun out and start shrinking. I'm just gonna let that cool in the vise for a minute. And that is a completed PL259 clamp connector. Quite delicious if I do say so myself.